Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, let's discuss another interesting topic today. So let's see the question first. Question says, abnormal for MCA Doppler is PI less than 5th percentile, PI more than 5th percentile, ST ratio of MCA is more than the SD ratio of umbilical artery or none of the above. Uh, this given picture depicts MCA Doppler being performed using the color Doppler and the spectral Doppler pattern. See, we are going to discuss MCA Doppler today. Okay. Uh, MCA Doppler is interpreted when the umbilical artery Doppler is showing something abnormal. Abnormality in umbilical artery Doppler. Okay, abnormality in umbilical artery Doppler means there is high placental resistance. High placental resistance. When the resistance in this placenta becomes high, then the uh, artery that is umbilical artery draining to this placenta shows some abnormalities. Okay. That is, there is impaired fetoplacental circulation, that is high placental resistance. Through this MCA Doppler, we assess what this, what's the fetal response to this increased placental resistance. See, this is the normal MCA Doppler pattern. See, this is the systolic flow and this is the diastolic flow. Okay, the peak is the peak systolic velocity PSV and this is the end diastolic velocity. The question is asking about PI. PI means pulsatility index. So let's just see the formula. Pulsatility index is PSV minus EDV divided by time averaged velocity. Okay. Uh, see this diastolic flow okay see this diastolic flow is not that high because the cerebral circulation is high resistance is high resistance okay but when the fetus develops hypoxia or acidosis why this hypoxia or acidosis because of the increased placental resistance which is depicted as abnormal umbilical artery doppler when the fetus develops hypoxia or acidosis cerebral arteries tend to become dilated why dilated because in order to preserve the blood flow to the brain fetus has hypoxia fetus wants to preserve blood to the brain that's called brain sparing effect brain sparing effect that's the diastolic flow increases the cerebral arteries become dilated the diastolic flow in the middle cerebral artery increases which is shown here in this diagram see the diastolic flow has increased the end diastolic velocity has increased compared to this diagram here is this end diastolic velocity and here it has increased in response to the hypoxia or the acidosis so when the uh, when end diastolic velocity increases with fetal hypoxia let's just apply this formula when this end diastolic velocity increases with fetal hypoxia this pi will definitely decrease so the brain sparing effect means pi has decreased okay pi has decreased this decreased pi this decreased pi is plotted on this normogram this is the normogram uh, for pi of the middle cerebral artery uh, let's just see this picture this is the uh, this is the normal pulsatility index at 36 weeks of gestation uh, how we know that this pi of 1.74 is normal let's just plot this pi value on this normogram uh, that's at 36 weeks of pregnancy somewhat this is the 36 weeks the pi is 1.74 it lies somewhere here okay see it lies above the fifth percentile line 
that's normal means if the pi is more than the fifth percentile it's absolutely normal see the second diagram the pi is 1.23 at 36 37 weeks of gestation see this is somewhere here 37 weeks and the pi is 1.23 let's just plot this pi is somewhat 1.23 it comes somewhat here that's less than fifth percentile pi is less than fifth percentile this is abnormal okay so when the value of pi lies below this fifth percentile value it means the fetus is developing hypoxia or acidosis so that's the fetal response to hypoxia okay uh, now we have just understood this concept let's see the question so the question is asking abnormal for mca doppler so the answer is pi less than fifth percentile pi more than fifth percentile is absolutely normal st ratio of mca is more than sd ratio of umbilical artery this is also normal because the diastolic flow of mca is definitely lesser okay as the cerebral circulation is high resistance and the diastolic flow of umbilical artery is very high so the denominator is very less so this ratio become increased for mca as compared to sd ratio of the umbilical artery hope you have understood this very well thank you